assist you, please say the reason for your call today. You can say things like, make a payment, technical support, questions about my bill, or activate my phone. So, how can I help you? Questions about my bill. Customer service rep. An actual person. Got it. Our digital assistant can also quickly handle this request. You can click the link we sent to your device to start chatting. Once you've connected to our digital assistant, this call will end. Yeah, but I didn't connect to your fucking digital assistant. Now, did I? Check your device for a free text message. Check your device for a free text message. Why don't you try the old-fashioned way with customer service, motherfuckers, and answer the goddamn phone? For security purposes, using your keypad, please enter the account PIN followed by the pound sign. Sorry, we did not get your response. Please try again. For security purposes, don't using fucking keypad, know. Please enter the account pin followed by the pound sign. In order to verify your identity, we will be sending a temporary code to the mobile telephone number ending in 4218. A temporary code has just been sent to your device and is ready to be validated. Now that the temporary code has been sent, we will wait up to two minutes for you to enter it. When you are ready, please enter the code followed by the pound sign to continue. I'm about to get really fucking pissed, bitches. remaining to enter your code followed by the pound sign. I'll just go in here and confront you goddamn motherfuckers to your fucking faces. Why? Because I can. Arkansas State Police, Fort Smith. Yeah, Captain Chris Goodwin, please. Uh, man, tell him he's calling. Corey Schilt. One moment. Thank you. How you doing, Captain Goodwin? It's Corey Schilt. Uh, yeah, I could be better. I just got out of the hospital, found out I got epilepsy and a bunch of other wonderful bull crap. But that's neither here nor there. 
I had come up to y'all's, uh, God bless you, thank you. I had come up to y'all's state police barracks here last week, and I wanted to address an issue with one of your police officers driving a patrol car with a license number H4 attached to it that went flying by me at around 100 miles an hour headed towards Little Rock East on I-40. Now, I videoed that, and when I came up to address the issue with your police department, your young lady on the dispatcher, I guess is another state police officer, actually had the audacity and the balls to continue to ask me what I was driving, where I was at. Well, if you open your ears and you listen to me, and I tell you when I come to address you as a citizen, that's my right. Yeah. Okay. Did, did she refer you to anyone else? Uh, she said to Sergeant, and I explained to her that I live out in the country at the time. I was out doing uh, chores for my wife, and that once I get back to where I live, until uh, Asa Hutchison gets the Royal Internet deal set up for people in my situation out where I pay the same tax as you do, there's not much I can do as far as giving any information. So I asked her what your email address was that I could send you the video. And she refused to give it to me. Oh, it's recorded, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we record all of our calls. Also. So do we. Any smart citizen has their brains, they'll do that from now on. No, no, if he had his, it, it's all video, it's all dated and time stamped on the video. Okay. Literally, I show on my speedometer where I'm doing about 70, 75, I think is what it was, and he's still pulling away from me. I've already had an incident with the Crawford County Sheriff's Office where they like to go ahead and abuse authority too. I'm the wrong person to piss off and abuse authority with. What? No, understandable, but people in regular cars get tickets. From what I've seen, police officers don't. Yeah, well, we hold them accountable, I promise you. Hey, well, uh, with this video, I expect so. Okay, well, do you have uh, a date and time? Uh, if you can give me your email address, I will email it to you. I have no internet, and I'm here at Walmart right now trying to get on the internet, and I guess because it is coronavirus, and please, y'all stay safe with all this bull crap. Yes, sir. But uh, with that, like I say, I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. I've already addressed, I've already addressed Asa at that pandemic uh, deal that he had the update when he was at the U.S. Marshals Museum. And as usual, I got a line of bullshit. Okay. Uh, were you the, did you pass out or get sick at the event? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I okay. had a seizure. Oh, did you really? Wow. Hey, well, yeah, I went to, I had another seizure when I got home later that night and they ended up having to take me to the emergency room and that's when I found out I have epilepsy. That's what they're doing, young man. God bless them. Yes, sir. If, if you have a date and time, I can probably pull up this video and just and review it that way. Because it doesn't sound like you're going to be able to email. I mean, to have a to be able to email a video, you're going to have to have a strong connection. Yeah. And their their speedometers are attached to their video, so I can. I mean, I'll be able to clearly see how fast you're going. Exactly. Um. I'm trying to figure this out. I don't get paid till the third again, and I'm going to update my wife's phone so that we have that hot spot deal, you know what I mean, where you can use it anywhere, supposedly. Um, is it all right if I... video is a little more difficult, though. That sending a video is, requires a lot, of, uh, a lot of speed on the Internet, I guess. 
Yeah. It'll take, up, it'll take up a lot of space, you know. So. Okay, well, my question is, um, can I swing by and drop it off to you on the 3rd, or uh, can I call you up on the 3rd and give you the date and t time on that? Uh... That's fine. Either one of those two things is fine. Okay, okay, that'll yes, work. Okay, I appreciate your courtesy then, young man, and uh, I will get this to you. Like I say, I'm not trying to be a hard.